Hey, what's up? Odds are if you're watching this, you're probably having issues with your NVIDIA drivers. As soon as you turn on your copy of Windows 10, your computer, you know. And you see uh, this one pop up. Uh, NVSPCAP64.DLL access denied. Or you see C, C drive slash Windows slash system slash NVCPLDLL access denied. Uh, if you've seen these, it's obviously a driver issue with uh, NVIDIA and GeForce Experience and Windows 10. Something is going on between the two of these where some people, unfortunately, I'm one of the few, uh, install these things and then something goes wrong and your copy of Windows 10 denies your access to it. Uh, I didn't find this fix. Like I found how to stop the annoying Windows System 32 MVCP Dell off from popping up, but... Uh, Oh hey, forty two zero eighty nine on the GeForce Experience site. Uh, we we're trying to come up with something together, and he completely picked up all the slack and figured it out. Whereas to I kept failing. So props go to him. That guy is awesome. All right, so let's get into how the fuck to fix this. Oh, I forgot I was in try not to curse. First, we're going to go into our search bar and type in whichever one of these you want to. And you want to right-click and find the file location. That will take you directly to it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to right-click each offending file, go into Security. Uh, let's see. Scroll down to Edit. Go to Edit. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this video is so stupid. It's my own fault. We're going to edit this part out because I'm an asshole. All right, we're going to go to right click properties, security. Now you're going to check all these areas here. You know, make sure everything's here. Now, usually it might say something different. And let's see, right click properties. security I know forgive the video I don't have my ability to use shadow plays desktop add edit add find and then you're gonna add your user profile which whatever your name is click OK click OK and that should be enough I'm not gonna do it again because I've already done it a ton of times and you're gonna give yourself the ability to read execute and write and you know whatever it does just click and it'll already give you the things you need to do and you're going to do this to all the NVIDIA files. So we're going to go all the way down to M V U M D S H I X. I mean M X D L L. I even did it to the N V V S C just to be, you know, safe. Security. And we're just going to do it's very straightforward, it's very simple. You make sure you got all that there. Uh, you can also go to edit, add, advanced find now and you can also put in all application packs click OK apply yes okay and we're done there just you know had that in there too because usually it is in there it's like that's in there your names in there your administrative username is in there and it'll also have like random users like C user blah slash users so whatever your screen name is that is you know what it'll have there and we're just going to we're just going to completely do this all the way through to every one of these files I'm double checking to see if I missed anything because it's a possibility I have please once again forgive this horrible video codec I know it's really bad but it was like a free program I could find on CNET since I can't seem to get my shadow play to record desktop after doing this your shadow play may record desktop all right, everybody has different issues. Uh, for some reason, Shadow Play Recording Desktop doesn't work for me still, but it is working for Ohay 42089. So, you know, it's luck of the draw, but I can pretty much say that this will at least give you the ability to record your gameplay again. It'll at least give you that. So that might be enough for most people desktop capture if you don't get it after doing this I don't have a fix for that yet um, I'm sorry uh, I wish I could help just like uh, there's a lot of people who have checked out my uh, 
microphone issues for Windows 10. Some people found it helpful, other people still have problems. And I apologize, you know, like this is a fix that did work for me and a few others, but Windows 10 is really new right now. And uh, everybody's experience will be different. Like, uh, you know, it, I can't guarantee that it'll fix everyone's issues because, you know, you have different hardware than me. Maybe there's something on your Asus motherboards, um, onboard sound that is different than what I'm using on my Gigabyte onboard sound which worked for me but probably work work for you and you know the same could probably be said here like this I can say will most likely work with GTX 900 series cards uh, 900 series M cards 800 M cards uh, maybe even the 760s or the 700 series and 6 I don't know farther on from there and this is for a Windows 10 fix so if you're running Windows 7 and uh this doesn't work I don't know I mean theoretically it should work but uh there's a, ch there's a possibility it won't you know I'm just saying you know don't get mad at me in the comment sections like hey you stupid piece of shit this didn't work how dare you you're no Linus tech tips and to that I'd say you're right I'm a retarded chipmunk well that should basically be it uh, you know, I don't think you need a whole video of me doing this, but I do know that there is one thing in here that I want you to see. Hopefully you stuck around this long. I know it's a long fucking video of me basically rambling. I apologize. But, uh, there is one instance because I've already done this, but there's something you need to do. Here we go. This is the one I think we're going to go in here and this is going to show you. All right, we're going to go here, permissions. You see that? Log, uh, login session, blah, blah, blah. Not authorized, delete that. All right, and then just hit apply, yes, and you see how my username and everything just put itself in without any extra effort from me. When you see that login user something denied, delete the shit, and it'll, already, it'll automatically put your username in and give you access to use it. I think this is one of the bigger issues that prevent you from using shadow play and games and possibly... Yeah, uh, other instances of uh, desktop capture. You know what I mean. I'm a little tired. I apologize. Well, after you've done all this, you now should be able to record your games at the very least. And also, if you had trouble opening your control panel, now you can. So uh, uh, we're just going to click here to prove that I can open my control panel once again. And there we go. Boom. Fantastic. Well, hope this helped, and thanks for sticking around that long. And, uh, you know, if you know how to fix uh, desktop capture, let me know.